Recently, the District 8 Fellowship of Christian Athletes hosted its second annual Fields of Faith event at Harmon Field in Wapakoneta, where hundreds of students rushed the field to commit their lives to Christ and to pray with one another. High school athletes told their stories of how God had answered their cries for help. Marion local senior John Schwederman shared about his intercession for a woman named Kim, whom he got to know while he was working at the New Bremen YMCA. She's going through cancer right now, and she's had heart attacks, she's had strokes, she's had over 10 surgeries just, just in her stomach area, like everywhere. It was crazy. And, you know, I was like, I was like, man, what do I do? I mean, this girl is pouring out to me. I said, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it go. I'm just, I'm not gonna, you know, you know, she go on, live her life. I'll go on, live my life. But, you know, God really pushed me in that moment. And I was like, you know what? No, I need to, I need to stay faithful. I need to listen to what the Holy Spirit is having to tell me. And I need to go after it and I need to do it. So my shift was about over. I was about to get tagged out by another uh, lifeguard. And I get tagged out and I walk over and I just go sit at the end of the lap pool. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna wait till she swims up to me. This is super awkward. So here she is swimming. She's like, pops her head up. And I'm just like, hey. And she like goes back under, <laughs> pops right up again. I'm right, still here. <laughs> and you know, finally she gets to the end and I'm like, I'm like, hey, you were telling me a little bit of your story earlier, but, uh, you know, God's really been pushing me, and I just want to ask you, can I pray for you real quick? And she just started breaking down crying. It was awesome. She broke down crying. <laughs> I mean, no, you just, I was so, I was so happy that she didn't just, like, turn away and just, like, no, were you crazy or something? Get away from me. Um, let me finish some of my laps. I was like, okay. But, uh, you know, she, she came up, and I started praying for her. I said, God, heal her, Jesus. Lord God, she's going through so much right now, and just move in her body, Jesus, and just do miraculous things to her. And, you know, she said, she, she uh, came up to me later, and she said, thank you for that. So then I go home, you know, that day. I was pretty excited that I, for once, like, followed what God actually told me to do. And I was like, I was like, Jesus, I did it, man. I did it. And she didn't, she didn't, you know, turn away from me, call me crazy or anything. But, uh, no, I get a call from her a couple weeks later, and she says, John, John, John. I'm like, I have no idea who you are. Like, but, no, she said, John, this is Kim from the Y. I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, how's it going? She's like, how's it going? Has God told you how it's going? I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, I'm free of cancer now. I was like, free of cancer? She's like, yeah, your prayer worked. Oh, and uh, also, I lost 50 pounds too, and I'm swimming three miles a day. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like you go, Kim. An amazing story of healing because John took that step of faith. Amazing thing to see. And you can see some of those testimonies all throughout the month on TV44 on WOSN as we show you all of Fields of Faith.